Hello, it's Jane. I've got 20 minutes to do my prompt for Mythical March that I really want to do. It's one I skipped, so I thought I would do it with you. Why not? Okay, but I've got to move quickly like the lightning. So, if I want to get something done, a uh, stencil or a stamp is just such a good place to like get everything fast-tracked. So Mythical March, these are our prompts. You can find these all on my blog or in my Facebook group or on my Facebook page. But I've got this one, Iris, Roller Skates on Rainbows. And Iris is the ancient Greek goddess of the rainbow and she was a messenger for the gods. So the, the belief uh, in those days, thousands of years ago, was that as she shot across the skies to deliver messages to mortals or to other gods from uh, Demeter was her her main, the major god that she was hung out with the most. <sighs> she would leave a rainbow, she had this beautiful rainbow cloak, she would leave a rainbow in the sky and that's where rainbows came from. That was just one of the beliefs. So I thought this stencil, uh, which is beautiful dancer, she, this would be good and I could get her just to be roller skating on a rainbow as she delivers her message. So I've also got watercolour that I've pulled. I'm not sure if I'll go Euphoria or the other thing is I've got watercolour in my Inky Depth brush pens. This is all the colour library colours that I've got here which um, if you want to make a spray or turn a watercolour into an ink pen um, that's what I've done with these. I've put a little bit, I've made a mixture just with distilled water, the watercolour, a little bit of um, clove oil, like a tiny, tiny amount, or anything that just has anti moulding properties. Um, yeah, and that's, you can make sprays or you can make inks, and then I can use these like mermaid markers, right? So that's my rainbow. Should I do the rainbow first or do her first? And I might stamp some little inky poos through for her. Now I need a little palette. Uh, where are we? I had a big move around in my studio yesterday and I'm going to use something. Right. And I'm going to put my ink in this. Now is that water soluble, that one there? I don't think so. can't quite remember. I'll just use the other side. And this little sponge that I'm using is one of my iHeart Art sponges. There's two different ones in the set to show you. There's this more redder one, there's a pinker one and there's two densities. But I love these for um, about what I'm about to do. <laughs> but um, this refers back to the iHeart drawing book. Fabulous Figures book. Okay, so let's get our little, I'm going to have her, maybe I'll put the rainbow across like this or something and she'll be descending down. Just don't want it too juicy. I could use any ink. You could even make up a watercolour mixture, layer cake mixture, whatever. Use that as, or stamp pad. Whatever you want. It's just to get these on. I could trace through this with a pencil, but this it's just going to work nicely and I'm doing it in this nice light colour so that I've got lots of room to move elsewhere. So now I've got her flying along. If I was a super good person, I would clean this off because that is water soluble ink that I've used. But um, now let's do a bit of rainbow. I'm not going to do normal old arching rainbow. I'm going to do undulating rainbow. So. Yeah, this is going to be the fun way. So I'm going to need a yellow. Let's go for great expectations. It's not going to be a normal rainbow. I'm going to have more pinks in it because I like the rainbow with a bit more pink in it. Mm -mm -mm. It's just a rainbow artist type of rainbow. Just selecting my colours. Neon pink, purple, let's get some blue in there. A turquoise, a bit of Gulliver's Travels. 
Hey, where's my other turquoise? <gasps> I think I'm missing a pen. What? Where's 20,000 leagues? Mm, whatevs. I can leave. It's going to be okay, Jane. Let's calm down. Oh, yes. Mm, pretty. There she is. Would that be better? Might do two. Okay. Right. And I'm just going to move them over there. No, I'll move them right out the way. Let's get this happening. Because I want this to sort of dissipate out into a rainbow, I'm going to give a little bit of water. I d if I had time, I'd probably do um, some watercolour um, She's slip and sliding, that's what she's doing. <laughs> I could just use uh, watercolours in a palette. That would be kind of more normal, wouldn't it? But, oh, I might do, should we do red? No, I don't want red. I've got this ready pink. So that was uh, Great Gatsby. And all of the colours, because it's the colour library, all of these colours are named after classics now that could be a little problem where the colors are because they'll go for a little joyride onto other pages and the journal that I'm working in is one of my big watercolor journals so I want all the colors to mingle and flamingle and go off visiting each other but not through there I'll just keep that under control. So that was Little Women, I think. No, that was Wuthering Heights. Yes, the more ready pink. And this is Pride and Prejudice, which is, oh, I might do her as well. How many pinks do I want? I want lots. Okay, I'm just gonna have another pink. <laughs> this one is, a bit more of a, oh, this is an opera rose, or it is an opera rose, but that's called Pride and Prejudice. Now we'll go into our purples, but I might go Oliver Twist first, because we're having a pink fest, so let's just continue on with that. I've got room. Oh, love what's happening down here. Oh, isn't that cool with art? You don't know what you need until you start, and then you're like, that's what I needed. That's exactly what I needed. Just needed just to take a little moment just to play around, be a little bit silly, roll my pens through the inks. But this is having them already pre prepared like this in the brush. If you're work, having to work quickly or very, very loosely, this is very fun. And as you know, if you follow me around here, you know, hey, Enchanted Dreams and Heather and April and Thea and Babs and Jenny, how are you going? You know that I, I love to put everything into a water brush. I just love brush tips. I think I need to activate, I think I need, I'm gonna leave that one to one side because I'm gonna put more ink in that more ink, more watercolour, and then, oh, that's, there's a little dip in the paper there. If I wanted to control that a bit more, clip it down so the paper stays a bit flatter. I quite like this, and I quite like that it's happening right underneath her feet, because it's like the, the, the rainbow is being magnetised towards her, even as she's roller skating down it so i think what's happened here is she's already gone through the sky once or twice she's had a busy day delivering messages the, the gods of two of the goddesses were having a little bit of a um a spat i think is what was happening and um she was having to go back and forth because i don't they didn't have social media in those days so they couldn't have a little social media turf fight so she's had to be taking the messages back and forth and now it's just full of rainbows and uh, she thought well let's 
let's not let all these this beauty go to waste. Let's uh, let's let's be roller skating down on that. Now I've got to try and work out how I'm going to do that. <coughs> I might use painted veil as her skin tone, and I'll have a little bit of um, center of the earth or. I have them both here, War of the Worlds. These are two warm browns. One's more of a sepia. The other one's a little bit more of a terracotta. Um, but I just, is it a, I think she can stay in a little leotard as well. Why not? And I could actually crack open my actual watercolors. They're just there, but I'm sort of in this zone. Even if this is just a quick little underpainting that I have ready to add uh, detail to later, that would be very nice. But I feel like I've then I've, at least I've got a little bit of my rainbow artist sorted out for the day. If, if nothing else, if all else fails. How about you? Do you have to create every day? I don't have to. Um, I feel better if I do. And sometimes uh, I'm just do drawing and I don't say, oh, I'm going to go and do some art now. I'm just, I've got it set up around so I can just, just, do, you know, do it. Like I don't sort of think, I try not to think of going for a walk as exercise because um, I know some people love exercising. It's their favourite thing. It's just not my favourite thing. But going for, just going for a walk, I just to me, it's just not, it's not exercise. So I'll go and do that. But if you tell me it's to do it for exercise, I won't. Don't want to do it. Silly, really, isn't it? Because it's you know for your own benefit, but. No. Well, this is making me happy. Like I said, I wish I, if I'd had the watercolour gesso, yes, it would be even prettier, but whatever. It's, it's pretty as it is. And uh, okay, procrastinating has already commenced. Excellent. Um, I haven't used this little one for a while, so it was very clear at the top. The colour had all drained back down in there. So just getting that re fired up well she's got a tan now she's, this is all the sunshine she's been getting doing all this messenger deliveries she's looking good she's keeping fit <laughs> I'll use this colour, I'll just lift a little bit off here to help me just bring a little bit of, oh that's a very Greek nose, excellent, Greek goddess nose, just that very, it's that very distinctive straight nose coming straight down, a little bit of, oh no no, where is she, there's a colour that is just so beautiful for cheeks, this is Pygmalion, but it's a very soft coral rosy pink. It's what's called a convenience colour because you can mix, well, you can mix any colour really. That's just so great just to have it already there. It's already done for you. And it's sheer, it's not chalky. It's transparent. Now the little hands have lost their form, but we want little fingers laying out as she rolls, rock and rolls. Do you think she should have rainbow on her, I think she should have rainbow, rather than a rainbow cape, I think she's gone rainbow uh, leotard. <gasps> should she have rainbow hair as well? Should we just do the whole thing? How are we going to do rainbow hair? I'm going to do rainbow hair. I can always paint over it if it's revolting. Let's just give it a crack, shall we? It's 
So I'm just working, <coughs> excuse me, a bit wet, wet in wet. And if I put my page on a little bit of a hill, like that, just with my sticky tape, I'll actually get, it'll help with the gradation as we go along. Uh, Wuthering Heights, no, not Pygmalion. I'm just popping a few back that I didn't use. This is a bit smaller, so I might have to. Love the, um, oh, that pink. She went up the hill. That's the power of Pride and Prejudice. Still one of my favourite books. It's a favourite movie too, actually. Wow, she's looking gorgeous. Right. I might go straight into this purple. But I think she's about to start a new fashion up on Mount Olympus. No doubt Demeter, goddess of, of uh, agriculture. She'll claim it was all her idea anyway. She'll be like, oh yes, that's right, I inspired her to do that. Or maybe the muses would say that. Yes, I definitely need to refill this a bit. I think we might finish it on that blue. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. Watercolour really has a mind of its own and it's a beautiful mind. So we'll let that all dry. I'm going to take a bit of this purple out on this side so we can see the other colours. Just stabilise that. I've got an empty water brush here. Just take that little blue dot off. And I might even bring this out. Just have, I've got a few little flyaway hairs. It looks a little bit more natural. I know she's a goddess. And she probably doesn't have flyaways or split ends or anything hideously mortal like that. But you never know. Hey, Kerry, how are you going? Oh, gosh, I've got to go, guys. Well, that was a good little start. Um, just to get... Oh, she still hasn't got any roller skates. So I think that's dry enough for me to at least put on... So she might have the old fashioned just strap on type of roller skate. I'm going to give her pink roller skates because, well, why wouldn't you? No, actually they might be, she's, she's gone the lace ups because she knows that they look good on her legs. <laughs> um. Oh no, she's got the little boot type and she's got lace ups, oh whatever. But anyway, she's got the, it's a very simplistic type of uh, roller skate so far, but we'll, we'll keep working on it. I might do the boot. Actually, she might have go-go boot ones. We'll just bring them all the way up. Oh, and then you've got the little stoppers as well. Okay. See, I had white roller uh, skates as a kid with red wheels. Oh, I thought they were the most beautiful things. I thought I was a speed skater. Totally. I don't know if they have lace uh, ribbons, but these ones do. Bit of pink up in here. But I think I'll soften that out just a little. Oh, 
oh, isn't that going to be fun? I think maybe the wheels, well, we wouldn't really be able to see the wheels on that foot, but whatever. And because it's not quite dry, but I want to add a little bit of detail, uh, watercolour pencil just will let me do it earlier than anything else. So I think I might just do a little bit of detail. I've got lionfish. Uh, is that lionfish? Yup. And I've got a bit of purple here. Just to help add a little bit of definition. Oh yeah, the, it's still a bit wet. Um, with pencils, it really has to be bone dry before you can add a usual pencil, but watercolour pencils, you can just come in a little bit earlier. quite handy you know if you've got you might have all the time in the world but uh, some people do I've got to just squeeze this sort of thing in my busy day but it's very important to do it isn't it oh okay so that's my sign to go 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 Got even further than I ever thought possible. Hi, Max. Oh, I've got to go, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope that you are <laughs> joining into Mythical March. Um, what is the date even today? Eleventh. Oh, we're really down here. Oh, fame spreads rumours amongst the music. Fame is ancient Greek Greek goddess of fame and gossip. I don't know if her name is said Fame or Feme or Feme la bouche. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's so hard to stop. Hey, where's my pencil? Oh, and I really need to use my rainbow pencil at some point. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. But I think I'll, that will go blue at some point. I'll let all this dry off and then I can come in and do some little details on her. Oh, face. She might even have, she's giving me the Wonder Woman's. She might even have some rainbows jetting out of her fingers like Spider Man. I mean, why wouldn't you? This is really going to annoy the other major gods because she's just looking too gorge. pencil okay well that was fun 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 and uh, I hope that you are uh, going to do some rainbow fun at yourselves and I'm going to let this dry and we'll come back and finish it at some other point to go and do some art and you can find those prompts uh, at janedavenport.com or like I said on the thing Facebook groups uh, or and everything that I've shown you of course is from my website bye <laughs>